before we get started, can I get a year? Yeah. It's a lot of Bronx energy in the building. I love it. What's up? How you doing? I'm Pierre Siro, aka Chef P. The P is for plants, positivity, and profit. You dig? Chef Lester Walker. I'm one third of the Culinary Collective, Ghetto Gastro. Overall vibe facilitator and pinch hitter. What's up? I'm John Gray, the architect of the vision, coming in as a curator, bringing together different points of view that we can apply the culinary knowledge of my partners to. The Culinary Creators Project is a food-focused series highlighting innovative chefs shaping the future of food and restaurants. It gives these innovators opportunities to bring their culinary creations to life through squared powered spaces. Ghetto Gas shows a multidisciplinary culinary collective and we use food as a medium to tell stories. We feel really blessed to be able to share our expressions with the world through content creation, culinary expertise, and all of the tactical efforts that we employ to get our message out. We're all about nourishment. One of our slogans is, nourishing the world, food for thought. You do the dishes. It's really amazing what Square was able to do and the Culinary Creators Project, how they were able to create a platform and a space where we're able to take the food and the stories and the images from our book and distill them into just moments that people can taste and really experience uh, live in person. It was the first time that we've ever done anything like that. Gave people a taste of what a ghetto gastro space might and could feel like. You know, we'll see what the future holds. Do apps like Square, these are giving us opportunities to make some dollars and put them back into the community and not only feed, but you know, it trickles down. It's one of those things that when the community sees us doing it, they know that they can do it as well. The fact that Square is very passionate about economic equality and economic empowerment, that made sense for us to link up and create something historical because part of the revolution is everybody has to eat, but the revolution also needs to be financed. So with more efficiencies and stronger finances, our communities will become more resilient. Restaurants are the cornerstones of all communities, you know? I mean, mom and pop shops that are able to stand the test of time, you really understand how much value they have in a neighborhood when you see, you know, the same people coming in on a daily basis. Music, food, and technology, those are like the cornerstones for, for culture. If you have all three of those, you're destined to have a good time. Our goal is to be a pillar of the community and exhibit how to turn up active service out of necessity to something luxurious and sustainable, much like what Square is doing, you know, providing luxury and provides sustainability, you know, in, a, in an ecosystem which feeds off of one another. The magic is within the mayhem. You got to pull disparate things that often people don't think go together, put them together, and you end up with a beautiful gumbo. 